California is now the first state in the country to pass a law requiring college students to get active consent before having sex. KPX 5's Elizabeth Cook with more on what the bill means for students and why some believe the new law may not make a difference at all. 18-year-old Sasha Deming is a college freshman at UCLA and believes California's new Yes Means Yes law could help reduce the number of sexual assault cases on college campuses throughout the state. I think it's a huge issue. Every girl I know has been like harassed by someone at some point, so I'm glad that it's finally becoming an issue that people can actually talk about. The law affects public and private California colleges and universities that receive state financial aid. Students attending those schools are now required to make an affirmative, unambiguous, and conscious decision before having sex. The law also says a lack of resistance or silence cannot be interpreted as a yes. Neither can being drunk or asleep. The consent can be nonverbal, but opponents argue the new protocol will lead to confusion and unfair blame. 23-year-old Eamon Winkley is a college senior. It is hard to kind of, I don't know, police that sort of thing, because it's not like there's a third party there, like saying, like, you know, I'm a witness. You both didn't say yes sort of thing. Roxanne Deal teaches incoming freshmen at UCLA about issues relating to sexual assault and violence. She supports the new law. I think it gives a consistent understanding to all students. They all know where they stand. But Neil says students first need to be educated about the issue, since an estimated one in five college women experience some kind of sexual assault before graduating. Elizabeth Cook, KPIX 5. Not everyone is on board with the new law. The National Coalition for Men believes that those accused of sexual assault will now be presumed guilty and that people will have an easier time making false accusations. We have